Gerlingen, with a population of almost 20,000, is one of the wealthiest towns in Baden-Württemberg. That's allegedly because the people here economize. Altogether, they have a disposable income of half a billion euros. But you won't find many luxury boutiques here. Swabians are famous for their thrift. Is there any truth to the cliché? We ask at the local history museum. They say the Swabians have money and they do spend it on things, like a fur coat, for instance. But they'll wear the fur on the inside, not the outside, so no one sees it. Here at the museum, we meet up with the typical Swabian housewife. She says the southern Eurozone countries could take an example from her. What character is she playing then? Anna Schwetzele, a typical Swabian housewife. She knows how to work hard and pinch the pennies. You can't make something out of nothing. Does she go down well then? Very well. Germany trembles at her name. And all of Europe too? Yes, it probably does. <laughs> this character stands for solid money management. And when she talks about money, people listen. When my son started looking at girls, I told him, watch out, love will pass, but land will last. That's the best lesson to teach young people. <laughs> Thrift is a way of life here. It's not just about hoarding money, but finding ways for it to make more money, even in the euro crisis. That's what the bank's financial advisors do. Almost every day we talk to people who are frightened. More and more we're seeing people fleeing the euro currency, moving their assets into Norwegian kroner or Australian dollars. And this trend is on the rise. But when the going gets tough, Gerlingen gets going. The owner of the town's largest butchers shows us his latest major investment, a meat drying machine. People here are willing to try new things as long as they stay within their budget. With typical Swabian discretion, he won't say how much it cost. I think it's very Swabian to think about what's possible, more or less within the limits of your means, about what you can afford, so you don't plan things beyond your means. I think that's extremely important. He has four shops and employs 50 workers. That qualifies as a mid-sized business. What advice would he have for EU members struggling with debt? When I notice things aren't going well for us, I have to think about why that's so, and then I have to tackle the problem. So I still say, assistance, yes, but you have to have the will to get things up and running again yourself. I say that with a view to the southern European countries. So is he worried about his savings? Not really. We've put a lot into the business, so there's not much left in savings. <laughs> what else would a typical Swabian say? The philosophy behind the Swabian housewife dates from the 19th century when people had much less. So it seems a penny saved is a euro earned ultimately.